chapter 11 and verse 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This morning, I'm going to preach the shortest sermon I've ever preached in 30 years. It's just two words. And these are the words, I believe. Would you say that with me if you believe? I believe. I believe that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I believe God said, let there be light, and there was light. I believe God said, let there be water, earth, and sky, and it was so. I believe God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees that bear fruit of all different kinds, and it was so. I believe that God said, let the waters teem with living creatures. Let the birds fly above the earth, across the expanse of the sky. Let the land produce living creatures of all kinds. And God saw that it was good. I believe that God said, let us make man in our own image. And he formed a man out of the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Yes, I believe. If you believe, would you say it with me this morning? I believe. I believe that God called an idol worshiper named Abram and ordained him to be the father of all those who live by faith. I believe he is the God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. I believe that when he calls a dried up old man a father, he becomes a father. When he calls a barren old woman a mother, she becomes a mother. I am fully persuaded that he has the power to do what he has promised. I believe that in multiplying Abraham's children, God infinitely multiplies us. I believe that in blessing Abraham's children, God heaps blessing upon us. I believe his blessings overtake us and remain with us. I believe he blesses us in the city and he blesses us in Buffalo. I believe he blesses our children. I believe he blesses our work. I believe he blesses our investments and our assets. I believe he blesses everything we touch. I believe he blesses our cupboards and our pantry. I believe he blesses our going out and our coming home again. I believe he makes us the lender and not the borrower. I believe that he makes us the head and not the tail, always at the top and never at the bottom. I believe he blesses those who bless us and curses those who curse us. I believe that through us, God blesses all the families of the earth. Yes, I believe. If you believe, would you say it with me? I believe. I believe that God causes a seed to produce a 100-fold return in a drought. I believe that he makes room for us in a hostile place and causes us to live in peace among our enemies. Thou prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. I believe he chooses the underdog the younger, the weaker son. I believe he guides the wayward son. I believe he prospers the defrauded son. I believe he perfects the character of the deceiving son. I believe he welcomes home the prodigal son. I believe that God makes some men to be dreamers of dreams. I believe he gives them wisdom to interpret dreams and act on dreams. I believe that he leads from the pasture to the pit, from the pit to Potiphar's house, from Potiphar's house to the prison, and from the prison to Pharaoh's palace. I believe that he takes what our enemy meant for evil and he turns it and he uses it for our good and for the salvation of many. Yes, I believe. If you believe, would you say it with me this morning? I believe. I believe that God raises up divinely called and divinely gifted leaders in troubled times. I believe that suffering with the people of God is better than enjoying the pleasures of sin for a season. I believe that suffering disgrace for the sake of Christ is of greater value than all the treasures of Egypt. 
I believe that when God calls a stutterer a spokesman, he becomes a spokesman. I believe that he will keep us safe in Goshen while he shames the illegitimate gods of this world. I believe that the blood of the Lamb spares alive everyone who takes refuge under its cover. I believe that he makes the Egyptians pay up the back due wages that they have withheld from us. I declare over Harvest Time Church that this is a season when what has been wrongfully withheld from you is going to be released upon you in Jesus' name. I believe that God blocks Pharaoh's army and opens a corridor through the sea. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. I believe that the angel of the Lord camps around those who fear him and he delivers them. I believe he heals bitter waters. I believe he delivers bread on the morning dew. I believe he brings forth rivers out of rocks. I believe he prevents any and every kind of sickness and disease. I believe he gives us longevity of life and strength and vitality and eyesight. I believe that he shades us from the scorching heat of the day and he comforts us with light and warmth at night. He who watches over you will never get drowsy. He'll never fall asleep. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He'll watch over your life forevermore. I believe that the Lord is compassionate and slow to anger, abounding in love, and faithful to a thousand generations of those who love and serve him. His mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, God. I believe that God is not a man that he should lie nor the Son of Man, that he should change his mind. I believe that if he speaks, he will also act. I believe that if he promises, he will also do it. He watches carefully over his word to perform it, for the vision awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end, and it will not prove false. Though it tarries a little while, wait for it. It will certainly come without delay. Be of good cheer. I believe God, and it shall be as it was told me. I believe that if he has blessed us, it cannot be changed. I believe that the Lord our God is with us. I believe that the shout of a king is among us. I believe that no sorcery or divination can be brought against us. I believe that we will rouse ourselves like a lion who will not rest until he has devoured his prey. I believe. If you believe, would you say it with me this morning? I believe. I believe that God will cause us to inherit all the promises he made to our fathers. I believe he'll cause us to inherit the promise he made to Pastor Tate and Patty in 1983 that there is a great harvest in Greenwich, Connecticut and in this whole region. I believe he is the captain of the host, the angel armies of heaven. I believe he will give us supernatural strategies to take this land, Jericho first and Jordan flooded. I believe he has called us to forego the incremental and to go for the incredible. I believe he'll drive out our enemies without raising our sword or bow. Through our God we shall do valiantly, for it is he who tramples down our enemies. They'll come at us from one direction, but they'll run away from us in seven directions. If God be for us, who can be against us? I believe he'll give us land that we didn't develop and cities we didn't build, and houses filled with all kinds of things that we didn't provide, and wells we did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves we did not plant, and we shall eat and be satisfied. Yes, I believe. I believe that God hears our cries for mercy, even in the middle of our own self-inflicted crises. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His ears are attentive to their cry. The righteous cry out and God hears them and delivers them from their troubles. I believe that when God calls a scaredy cat a mighty man of valor, he becomes a mighty man of valor. I believe God turns zeros into heroes. I believe that nothing can hinder the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few. I believe that God orchestrates as it turned out and just thens for us.
I believe he bestows three weeks provision in a single day and a year's worth of provision in three months. I believe he causes men of noble character to notice us and value us and protect us and create new positions just to accommodate us and to promote us. I believe that he leads Ruths to their Boazes and Boazes to their Ruths. I believe that God looks on the heart while men look on the outside. I believe that when he calls a shepherd boy to be a king, he becomes a king. I believe he knocks down giants with a single smooth stone. I believe that he is high and lifted up and that the train of his glory fills the temple. I believe he gives wisdom and understanding to the simple. I believe that God commands provision over us, whether by ravens or widows or angels. I believe he performs miracles never seen before. I believe he answers with fire from heaven at the time of the evening sacrifice. I believe he speaks in a still small voice. I believe he rides on the wind in chariots of fire. I believe that God can stretch a single cup of flour to feed three people for three years. I believe that his oil is in this house and that it shall not run out until every need is met and until every empty vessel is filled. I believe he heals spoiled soup and multiplies dinner rolls. I believe he floats loans that have gone underwater. I believe he blinds our enemies while their eyes are still wide open. I believe that the sound of our worship sends our enemies into confusion. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. I believe that our battle belongs to the Lord. I believe that the angels fighting for us are greater than those who are fighting against us. For he shall command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. I believe that the sound of angels' feet will send our enemies into a panic. I believe. If you believe, would you say it with me this morning? I believe. I believe he makes burned up stones live again. I believe he makes dried up bones walk again. Behold, he makes all things new. I believe that if we're unfaithful to him, he remains faithful to us because he cannot deny himself. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. I believe that if we, his people, the ones called by his name, will humble ourselves and pray, and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways, he will forgive our sins and heal this land. I believe he bestows upon us uncommon wisdom to flourish in Babylon. I believe he'll give our children supernatural academic ability. I believe he'll give us favor with kings. I believe he'll shut the lion mouths. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against you shall fail. I believe that he is the fourth man in our fiery furnace. I believe that history is his story. I believe he is the Lord of the nations. I believe that one day his kingdom shall reign over all the earth. I believe. If you believe, would you say it with me? I believe. I believe that in the beginning always was the word. I believe that the word always was with God and he always was God. Through him all things were made and without him nothing was made that has been made. I believe that Jesus is the true light that gives the light of human conscience and human consciousness to every man. I believe that the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. I believe that Jesus Christ emptied himself, became a servant, and came to earth in a body of human flesh. I believe that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. I believe he lived a sinless life of perfection. I believe he showed us what God is really like. No one has ever seen God. But Jesus, the one and only, has made him known to us. He loved like no one else has ever loved. He taught like no one else has ever taught. He performed miracles like no one ever had before. I believe that Jesus relieves the poor. 
I believe that he releases the captives. I believe that he restores sight to the blind and rescues the bruised. I believe that nothing is impossible for God. I believe he turns wash water into hundreds of gallons of fine wine. I believe that he hides coins in the fish's mouth. I believe that he breaks net and sinks boats with blessing. I believe that he fed 4,000 men with seven dinner rolls and he fed 5,000 men with five dinner rolls. I believe that Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. I believe he laid down his life freely. No one took it from him. He offered it. I believe he died on a Roman cross. I believe that he rose again on the third day, defeating death, hell, and the grave, and having disarmed the demonic powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. I believe that Jesus is the Savior of the world. I believe he is the way, the truth, and the life. I believe he is the door to salvation. I believe he's the beautiful shepherd. I believe he's the true vine. I believe he's the bread of life. I believe that he's the light of the world. I believe that salvation cannot be found in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved but the name of Jesus. I believe he receives everyone who comes to him in humility and repentance and faith, and he saves them to the uttermost. That means you don't just get a little bit better. That means you get all the way better, 100%. I believe he makes us new creatures. I believe he transforms our inner nature and character. I believe he pours his love inside of our heart by the Holy Spirit that he's given us. I believe he gives us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. I believe he strengthens us in our innermost being with strength from the Holy Spirit. I believe he makes us more than conquerors. He has given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil. I believe that if we have have faith even as small as a mustard seed we can say to that mountain that's called phase two be thou removed and it will move yes I believe if you believe would you say it with me this morning I believe I believe that he appeared to various groups for 40 days after his resurrection even appearing to more than 500 at one time I believe that he ascended to heaven and sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. When he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and he gave gifts to men. I believe that he ever lives to make intercession for us, our great high priest who has compassion on our human weakness. I believe that he gives us mercy and grace to help us in our time of need. I believe that he poured out the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost and they spoke in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. I believe that he is the head of the church. His body, His bride, His family, His temple made of living stones. I believe that Jesus loves the church. I believe that He will build the church and the gates of hell shall never prevail against us. I believe that we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. I believe that He chooses simple people to confound the wise. I believe He chooses weak people to shame the strong lowly and despised and inconsequential people to bring to nothing the powers that be so that no one might boast before him. It is not by might. It is not by power. It is by the spirit of the living God. I believe he's hidden his treasure in earthen vessels to prove that the all-surpassing power comes from him alone. I believe that he resists the proud, but gives more grace to the humble. I believe this. If you believe, would you say with me this morning, I believe. I believe that these commitment cards are an invitation to enter into a partnership with him and to jump into his economy.
I believe that God is able to make all grace abound to us so that we always have everything we need to abound to every good work. I believe Jesus' own promise that if we give, he shall give back to us a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. God will cause men to pour into our laps. I believe he gives bread to the sower and seed to the uh, bread to the eater and seed to the sower. I believe that when we give to the poor, we lend to the Lord and he repays us. I believe that when we give to God's work on earth, we lay up treasure in heaven. And I believe that he will open the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessing on Harvest Time Church in the next three years that we won't have room to contain it. I believe he will do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. I believe he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the author and the finisher of my faith. He is the beginning and the end of my journey. I believe he will bring to perfection the good work he began in me. He knows the way that I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. I believe he gives beauty for ashes and joy instead of mourning. He makes everything beautiful in his time. I believe that Jesus is coming again, just as he said. I believe that the trumpet will sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we who remain alive will be changed in the twinkling of an eye and caught up together to meet him in the air. I believe that every eye shall behold him and all the nations of the earth will mourn because of him. I believe that one day every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe in the new Jerusalem, the city of the living God. I believe there is a river whose streams make glad the people of God. I believe in thousands and thousands of angels in joyful assembly. I believe there's a book in heaven and my name is written in it and your name is written in it. I believe in the resurrection of the dead both the righteous and the unrighteous. I believe in the great white throne of judgment. I believe that every man will stand before him and give an account of himself. I believe that the righteous judge of the earth will do right. I believe in the Bema seat of Christ. I believe that he will reward us for every act of faithful love and service and giving. I believe that the souls of righteous men will be made perfect. I believe that we shall ever be with the Lord where there are pleasures that is right hand forevermore I believe in heaven I believe in hell I believe in the new earth I believe if you believe would you say it with me this morning I believe I believe that these are the last days I believe in the latter rain I believe in Azusa Street I believe in the Pentecostal outpouring. I believe in the Pentecostal revival. I believe in the Pentecostal movement. I believe that this harvest is the end of the age. I believe in Harvest Time Church. I believe that phase two is God's project. I believe that this is God's perfect time for me and for you and for phase two. And I believe that all things are possible for those who believe. This is my faith. And I came to tell you this morning just two words. I believe. If you believe, would you stand up on your feet and would you give Jesus a great big praise? Come on, give him a great big praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, I Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason that I live, the reason that I sing. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I
Come on, give the Lord a big praise in this place, church. Hallelujah. 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 I know that many of you have come today with your cards already filled out. And if you have your card, would you just take it and hold it in your hand? Some of you perhaps didn't come with a card. I know we have many guests today and we welcome you. We don't have any, uh, please don't feel any sense of obligation to, to give. Those of you that Harvest Time is your home, we're asking if the Lord's spoken to you to make a commitment today. If you haven't filled out a card, we're going to give you a, a chance to do that in just one moment. There's cards in the bulletins. Our ushers have pens if you need one to help out. But if you have a card, I want you to just take your card and just hold it in your hand. And would you just say to Jesus, I believe. I don't know whether you're like me and my wife, but we have a number on our card and uh, we've, all three of our kids need braces. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Four out of five of us wear glasses in my house. You know what I'm saying, right? So thank you, Lord, for the chance to invest in beautiful straight smiles for our children, to invest in their future. You're blessed as real good, God, and you have needs. I know that. Maybe you're like us, and you have a number on your card. You say, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. I want you to just hold on to that card, and I want you to just say, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Our friend Alvin's going to come, and I've asked him to share a song with us called I Believe. You can be seated for just one moment. If you haven't filled out your card, you can take a chance to just do that right now. God bless you. But harvest time, the greatest of these is love. Yes, we believe. God bless you, everybody. Would you stand together with us? just one moment we're going to ask you to bring your cards forward and lay them here on the altar our kids are coming first for the last several weeks uh, our kids have been praying with us they've been saving up and uh, they're bringing banks with uh, money that they've saved for phase two um, this has been great the quarters have been flying out of my change jar at home like there's no tomorrow and so much work has gotten done around my house the dog's been walked and fed and beds have been made I'm gonna miss this campaign a lot but our kids are going to come first, and they're going to bring their banks. You know, that's the way of the kingdom. Jesus said, unless you become like a little child, just believe, trust. You can't enter. The, the kids are going to come first and bring their banks. And after they've come, we want to invite you to come and bring your card, lay it here on the altar. And then we're going to have a word of prayer together. And uh, then there's a great reception over in the dome. We hope that maybe you'll go over. Our friend Mike Seppi is making crepes. I had one in between services. They're outrageous. Uh, our friend Chef Jean-Pierre Bagnato has made some brioche French something that's like really, really good. So uh, go over to the dome and enjoy a little fellowship. But we're going to invite our kids to come first. And then after they've come, would you come? God bless you. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you, Lord, every breath of life. Thank you, Lord. Would you just stretch your hands forward towards these gifts? We're going to close with a word of prayer. As soon as we do, we hope you'll go over to the dome, enjoy a little fellowship, enjoy a little good food together. I want to thank everybody that's worked so hard on this campaign. Brad Applegren, Dom Crincoli, Terry Kelly, Matthew Tolentino, Ed Trask, Lorraine Cataldo, Roseanne San Rosanna San Germano, Marianne Tartaglia, Iris and Sarah Hawkins, so many people, uh, all of you had a little part of it, so thank you. Stretch your hands and let's just believe. Father, now we thank you, Lord, that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we ask or imagine. God, I thank you, Lord, for the faith, Lord, that each one of these cards represents, Lord. We value you so much, Lord. We value, Lord, uh, the body of Christ so much and our church so much, Lord. Father, you know that there are faith numbers written down here, Lord. Numbers, Lord, that exceed what we're capable of doing in the natural, but nothing is impossible for you, God. 
I pray that, Lord, from the first moment, Lord, I pray that tomorrow morning, Lord, things would begin moving, Lord, that answers to prayer would begin coming, Lord. I pray, Lord, that jobs and better jobs and promotions and increases and out of the blue bonuses, Lord, and things that never happened, sales and commissions, Lord, Father, inheritances, Lord, uh, money that has been withheld, Lord, let it be released, Father, I pray, God, that you would just shower, and Lord, I pray that you would get all the glory. Now I thank you for these precious people, Lord, whom you love so much. As we go our own way, pray the cloud of your presence would envelop us. Pray your presence, Lord, would just surround us. Your protection would keep us, that your provision would accompany us, that your providence would lead us, and your peace encircle us. Until we come together again, and everyone said, amen. God bless you. Come on, let's sing, and then go have some fellowship. God bless you. Have a great week in Jesus. You lift you higher and higher.